There are new details in the disappearance and death of Alexis Crawford. Warrants reveal the Clark Atlanta University student was allegedly strangled and smothered after a fight with a roommate and the roommate's boyfriend. Crawford was reported missing on November 1st, just one day after police say that she was murdered, but her body wasn't found until seven days later in a DeKalb County park. Hope Ford has the warrants and Hope, it says both suspects had something to do with how Alexis died. Yeah, according to the warrants, Crawford was physically choked by one suspect and a black trash bag placed over her head, smothering her by the other suspect. And what makes this also shocking is her murder happened a few hours after she was last seen on surveillance video with her roommate. 11 p.m., October 30th, Jordan Jones tells police she took Crawford to a liquor store. Here Crawford is on camera, and it's these pictures that would be released after Crawford was reported missing. But as it turns out, warrants show Baron Brantley, Jones's boyfriend, admitted to police the two women got into a physical altercation soon after the trip to the liquor store. Then between 2.30 and 5 a.m. on Halloween, the warrant says Jones smothered the victim until she stopped breathing, with Brantley getting involved and choking the victim as well. This report shows Brantley confessed that he and Jones placed Crawford's body in a plastic bin and took it to Exchange Park in DeKalb County. Now we know what happens next, a missing persons report, searches, vigils, and the eventual arrest of Jones and Brantley. The case has come to one of the saddest conclusions possible. And during this time, Reverend Markel Hutchins, a spokesperson for the Crawford family, says Jones was posting on her Instagram account, sharing Crawford's missing persons report, and even writing, this is a difficult time for me right now and I just feel helpless. She also asked people to stop harassing her and put their energy into finding my friend. And those posts on Jones' Instagram uh, were made days after the warrants show Crawford was already dead. Now, both Jones and Brantley are scheduled to appear uh, next in court on November 22nd. Wow. Just four days before she was killed, Crawford had accused Brantley of sexually assaulting her. And Jones told police it had caused a rift between her and Crawford. You can read about the allegations on 11alive.com and you can look for the story on our homepage.